one of the first questions I was just wondering uh, was how long you'd been involved with the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Langley. Um, well, I moved to Langley last spring, so spring of 2016, and um, I got involved with Big Brothers, Big Sisters in Langley shortly after that. Um, we, as new police officers, when you first get to your detachment, like your first detachment, uh, you're required to do some, vol- you know, get to know your community, do a project in the community within your first six months. Mm-hmm. So I kind of um, um, looked around. I talked to the youth unit at our at Langley RCMP, and um, they hooked me up with Big Brothers Big Sisters because they have a lot of um, cool community programs and ways you can get involved. So, yeah, so it would have to be, I guess, last spring for, so for about a year. Okay, and and so the RCMP for Langley's detachment has been involved with Big Brothers and Big Sisters for a while? Well, I don't know exactly how long they've been involved. I just know that they, like we have a youth unit um, at our attachment, and they like they knew of Big Brothers Big Sisters, and they were like, "You should, you know, you you can do something with them. Here's their contact information." Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I'm sure they have been. I don't know exactly how long, okay. but me personally, it's been about a year. Okay, and is there like a because when the um um, press release came out, it made it sound like there were some new additions to it. Um, to... I guess were there some new programs that had just kind of been starting up between the RCMP and the youth programs? Um, I Well, uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters had existing programs. I don't, I called the Go Girls and Game On. Mm-hmm. Um, and then <clears throat> When I when I um, connected with them for my initial project, um, I had referred some other me- like members who are just starting to Big Brothers Big Sisters because it's such a cool program and it's like oh it's perfect for especially as like a police officer it's a perfect opportunity to kind of connect with your community and mentor other people so that's when I, another um, member decided to to do the program as well so i think it wasn't that it was created for a rcmp member it was just a good partnership like it was a good fit good match yeah it was a good match it was a good match to have some young you know new police officers um mentor a group of of younger people Mm -hmm. what kind of a effect do you think that that kind of relationship could have on the community Oh, it's, it's, it's huge. I mean, um, I mean, when you're younger, so like 10 to 13, you know, you're really impressionable and different interactions um, have a huge impact on your life at that point. Like, I don't know about you, but I'll always remember like certain interactions I had when I was younger. Like they just kind of like stick out in your mind and it, a lot of times it could be with a person of authority. So if we can have positive interactions with with younger people as a person in authority and just, like, create that positivity and, um, you know, that connection in their mind that, wow, this is really cool to hang out with this person and learn from them, and they're also a police officer, Um I think it could have a huge impact, especially the things that we focus on in the groups and the things that we talk about. Um, it's, I think it, it could have a huge impact on, you know, just associating, um, even just viewing police officers in a positive way and feeling comfortable talking to police officers in case they ever need to. Um, and then also uh, maybe inspire them in other ways. Yeah, no, I I definitely think that uh, it can establish good connections so then if they need help, they feel comfortable reaching out to police as well. Oh, totally. Instead of it being a scary thing. Yeah, and also just, like, from a female perspective, like, getting to lead a group of young girls and them, like, being, you know, seeing that kind of um, possibility, like, oh, I didn't know that 
you could be like I know it sounds silly but when you're younger you don't really think about you think about you you get the stereotype of what a police officer should look like and and maybe for some young girls it's it's like wow I didn't know that that's possibly now that's in my realm of possibility just seeing Mm -hmm. a young, young female police officer so yeah definitely it's like that I feel like too with like fire you always feel like oh firemen and Police yeah, men sort of police thing. men. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. <clears throat> and what sort of topics do you usually cover in your programs that you work with them? So um, the the Go Girls program focuses on healthy body, healthy mind. Um, it's like a three three tiered. So it's healthy eating, active lifestyle, and and healthy mind. So it focuses on basic stuff like how you, you know it's important to be active in your life do some physical activity every day here are some things you can do and that you learn about throughout the program and then also on top of that it's important to to put good things in your body here are some good things that you can put in your body like these vegetables or we'll maybe bake together or we'll just have a discussion about what kind of snacks are Good for good to have um, while you're at school or after school, and then on top of that, we talk about um, like woven into the program through activities is like positive self-esteem, so confidence and healthy body image, and um, you know even relationships like you know talking about dating or or being in relationships with you know, somebody and what that looks like and um, what was the other one? With the, oh, even um, life, healthy lifestyle, so like drugs and alcohol and especially the group, the second group I led was um, 12 to 13, so they're almost, in, you know, they're getting into their teen years mm-hmm. and yeah, they they talked about drugs and alcohol, they're like, just curious about, you know, what what that looks like as they move forward and and yeah it's just it's just super interesting it's super yeah and like it we always say what what's said in go girls stays in go girls so like I don't want to talk about like specific exact what people are saying but just mm-hmm. generally it's like you know it's it's asking for advice about a situation that happened at school and some some of these girls might not have a big sister to talk to like you know what I mean and so you can just have this like conversation as if you're their big sister about Mm -hmm. about oh this is what I would I would do or when I was younger when I was your age this is what I did like would have done and it's super it's definitely interesting rewarding yeah Yeah, it is I feel like it's kind of rewarding for for them obviously very beneficial but then also for yourself there's a lot that you'd probably learn from them oh so much so much like yeah it's um and it's not like it's these big you know when you go to the program you're just doing activities we're following a, they have a little curriculum and it's kind of loosely you loosely follow it to make sure you cover things but it's it's kind of the girls few hours so whatever they want to do within that we choose to do and um one of my favorite things we have is um is it's called the question box so lots of times they're shy and they don't want to ask you a question directly. So we just have a box that you put a question in anonymously. And at the end of each session, we just answer all the questions that are in there. And uh, it just fills up so fast. And it's so it's so wonderful to see the kind of questions they ask. And then they don't have to feel kind of vulnerable in the moment, right, asking a, a question directly. Mm-hmm. They can just write it down and then we answer the, to the group kind of thing. So. Okay, and and how does the <clears throat> sorry the kind of meetings or hangouts work? So um, after well, this last one I did it was after school, um, and we we just the volunteer leaders arrive and the, we meet in a room. Um, so it's a, it's authorized by the school, and we just meet the girls that signed up, and we meet for two hours, and we go through. Like the, we kind of follow a curriculum and then just so that we cover all the points we want to cover. And they also have really cool activities and games that we can play in there. 
Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, as we go through it, there's um, things we cover. And in that, it ends up being, you end up discussing kind of the theme of the day. And um, so we just basically get together in a group and just a bunch of girls hanging out. Either we could be doing crafts, baking, playing a sport, dancing. Uh, we could be, maybe we, maybe we decided to make up something that day. We could be, we're eating snacks, so we always have a healthy snack for them. And we in, we usually at the snack time is when we talk about kind of like healthy, nutritious food kind of thing. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, how many volunteers are there usually? There's usually two. So it was myself and another volunteer. Oh, okay. Is the other is the other volunteer also part of the RCMP or just? No, she's a. Could be anyone. A, yeah, it could be anyone. Anyone can volunteer. Mm-hmm. 